Hi, in this video we'll solve a system of simultaneous equations. In the previous video we used both substitution and elimination methods to solve the same question. The link is down below so feel free to check that one out before you watch this video. And in this video we'll focus on using elimination method only. Uh, so looking at this question we notice that the like terms cannot be eliminated straight away so this requires us to rewrite the equations so that we can eliminate one variable since the two coefficients for x are two and one i'm going to rewrite the second equation by multiplying every term in the second equation by two um so every single term multiplied by 2. So I'm doing this to make sure the coefficient in front of x becomes a 2 so that the two 2x two terms can cancel each other out nicely when I subtract the two equations later on. So I can rewrite my second equation. So now I have 2x plus 10y which is equal to 34 and I can still label this as my second equation. When rewriting an equation, uh, we want to be fair. So we have to multiply every term by the same number. In this case, I will multiply every term by two, including the constant term. So now we have two equations. Keep in mind that the new equation is equivalent to the original one because every term is now two times bigger than the original terms. But since we multiplied the same number to every term, we didn't change the value of the overall equation. With both of um, the equations having a true x term in them, now let's subtract to eliminate x. So when subtracting, uh, we want to take away equation 1 from equation 2 simply because the coefficients in equation 2 are greater. So in that sense, I don't have to deal with negative numbers. So if I write equation 2, take away equation 1, I have 2x plus 10y equals 34 and minus 2x plus 3y equals 13. Okay, so um, again, we're collecting like terms. 2x minus 2x equals 0x. So now the, zero, um, the x term is gone and 10y minus 3y is equal to 7y. 34 minus 13 equals 21. Okay, so now my equation becomes 0x, which is 0, um, plus 7y equals 21. And I can solve for y by dividing both sides by 7. y is equal to 21 divided by 7, which is 3. So now if I um, sub y is equal to 3 into the second equation, I can use either equation to, to find my x value, but let's use the original equation because the coefficient of x is 1, so hopefully this can make the calculation easier. So I will substitute this value back into the second equation and write um, x plus 5 times 3, since I know y is equal to 3 equals 17. x plus 5 times 3 is 15 is equal to 17. And I can find x by taking away 15 on both sides. And finally, x is equal to 17 minus 15, which is 2. So the answer is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3.